What's up guys, George here from Zero Pay Productions, back with another Skyrim Saturday mod review extravaganza. Today we're taking a look at the Grey Hell of Nocturnal, a DLC size quest mod uh, by Manny GT. He has made other mods in the past, this is not his first mod, I've taken a look at some of his other ones in the past, I just can't remember which one's off the top of my head, but I remember never having a bad experience with one of his mods. And um, obviously it's a very uh, thief-inspired um, quest mod judging by the title of the Great Hell of Nocturnal. Uh, to start it, you have to pickpocket or steal something, so... Alright. Um, oh, there we go. Oh, alright, so it's in uh, the south western corner of Skyrim, it would seem. Oh boy. Uh, the Great Hell of Nocturnal, reach the place. I had a strange vision in my mind. Also, I know where to go now. Uh, also, just a heads up, uh, it hasn't been relevant yet, but it'll come up later. Um, Manny GT is not a native English speaker. He is a na uh, native Italian speaker. I believe he's from Italy. Uh, so normally I would nitpick, uh, you know, just any sort of grammatical or spelling errors. I say that and then I can't even speak English. Um, but in the case of this mod, I am going to avoid it for the most part, just nitpicking that because of the fact that I know for a fact that he is... Uh, not a native English speaker, and the fact that this is, um, uh, the, the fact that the whole quest mod is voice acted and, uh, properly scripted and all that stuff, that's, that's already great, so, I'm, I'm just very, very happy, very grateful, it would seem that we have to go to this, uh, this hut right up here. This is also a very, uh, puzzle-intensive quest mod, I've been told, so we'll see how well I fare at it. Uh, he did upload a spoiler guide, so if need be, I will read it, but I'm going to try and avoid that as much as possible. Seviana's house. Finally, you're here. Oh. My family has been waiting for generations, Dragonborn. I've only been alive for the past 30 years or so. Uh, did you was waiting for me? Yes, that's right. I'm Seviana Umbernox, and this is my husband, Luvian. Oh, you're married? We Damn are it. The keepers of the Arrow of Extrication. Oh, I remember that thing. Keepers? You have it here? Can I take it? Please, make yourself comfortable. I will tell you the whole story. Make myself comfortable, you say? Alright then. Time to get comfortable. Uh. Uh. Yep. Time to get comfortable. I am so comfortable right now. How you doing? Oh, wait. Also sit. So comfortable. You don't approve, do you? Tell me! Everybody knows that the Fourth Era began when Maroon's Dagon was defeated and sent back to Oblivion, thanks to the sacrifice of Martin Septon and the champion of Cyrodiil. I just noticed she's wearing My custom robes. My ancestor was the illegitimate and secret son of Corvus Umbernox. Who? He was the Count of Anvil 200 years ago. Okay, I remember him. You know, perhaps nobody, that Corvus Umbernox was the notorious Grey Fox. Aha! Uh -huh. The Grey Fox? Yes, the legendary leader of the Thieves' Guild. The story of the Grey Fox is not well known, but everybody wrongly thinks that he's immortal. Or she, well, but not in this not case. Well, it's not like that. Grey Fox was, during centuries, many different people. You might ask yourself now why anybody noticed when he turned into a new person. They didn't, indeed. It's thanks to the mysterious cowl of Nocturnal that makes the person wearing it, looking the same as the one before. It also gave you the power to become a master in thievery. Uh -huh. After Corvus, the champion became the new Grey Fox. Uh, what, what do I have to do with all of this? The champion, just before dying, nominates Corvus to take care of the cow while waiting for the Dragonborn to arise. Oh, that's me. That's because at that time, there was no member of the Thieves' Guild worthy of wearing the cow. That's a bit insulting. And so he decided the Grey Fox would be someone more worthy, a Dragonborn. Well, thank you. The last one was Martin Septim, who was the son of the Emperor Yurio. The fifth. After 200 years, a new dragonborn appeared, and he is you. That's me. The mission of my family is now complete, as I give to you the arrow of extrication. Thank you very much. I had visions before coming here. It's the call of the Grey Fox. He knows who you are, what you want, and why. He also knows you were going to arrive here. He's waiting for you in a secret place where only a dragonborn could enter. Well, then, how did he get in? Where is it? In the mausoleum of the champion of Cyrodiil. Oh, he gets his own mausoleum? Yeah, I, I can guarantee when I die, I'm not gonna have a mausoleum. Thanks, Skyrim. Thanks. 
mausoleum, but isn't he buried at Anvil? All of Tamriel think he was buried near his old mansion in Anvil, but that's not how it is. There is nothing but an empty grave. Oh. It was my ancestor Corvus who informed the High Chancellor Akato about the champion's last wishes. Akato, eternally grateful, did not hesitate to fulfill the champion's wishes. Hmm. So Akato built the mausoleum secretly while Corvus oversaw the project. To find the mausoleum, you must think as a member of the guild like a thief. Uh, wh what do I have to do? My mission is to give you the arrow and to show you where to start your quest. Also, you will need this key too. Thank you. Take it. It will open the gate of the place where you're headed. The champion said that you will understand everything during your mission. I doubt it. And now go. The gray cowl is waiting for you hidden. All right. One last thing. Nobody is to go with you. Oh. This is something you have to do alone. Oh. Whoever should go with you on this journey will not know to step over the threshold of the place I showed you. Okay. Good luck, and may Nocturnal guide you. Okay. That was a somewhat somewhat obvious way of the game just telling you, or, you know, the mod author telling you, don't bring anyone with you, which you're not supposed to. You're not supposed to take any uh, companions because it just messes with stuff, and I don't know why I have these armors. Actually, those were Orissa's. All right, let's go. All right, so journal, find the Hall of the Initiation. Uh, find the Hall of the Initiation. All right, M is not doing anything, so let me just... Uh, wait, nope, never mind. I saw it. Down here, find the Hall of the Initiation. Um, well, I'm not really... I don't have anything really near it, so I'll just... I'll cut back to when I get there. Alright, so we're getting close to the uh, initiation site, it would seem. It took a little longer to get here than I anticipated. Uh, I did, just for the sake of the playthrough, I made some new armor. I made the uh, the mercenary and uh, highwayman uh, armor from the Immersive Armors pack. Uh, just because I figured should use some light armor for this if it is going to be a more thief-like mission of sorts. Alright, now I need to find my way in there. Hmm. Alright, I need to find another pull switch. Possibly, or, you know, I could just jump out of the window. Uh, let me take a look around real quick, just because it might be the best approach. So, over here we have... That, that will take me to Skyrim, alright. Requires a key. Oh, I have the key. Okay. Hmm, this is, a. Uh, an interesting place. What was the name of... What was the name of this area that I just discovered? Eye of Cyrodiil. Alright. Didn't pay attention when it activated. Um... Oh, I can't use this trap door. Wait! There I can. I, also, I might be lost. I already... Whoa, did I just go... Okay, that just took me up there. That's all that did. Um, hmm. Alright, then I'm curious what that lever did, because I'm not entirely sure. Either way, there should be another staircase over there, I would think, so let me take a look at that, unless this area isn't symmetrical. Um, did that lever open... Okay, it opened the second gate, so it need... That would mean I need to find another lever and activate that. Do I not have... Okay, I don't have um, a travel lantern on me. I might I might cheat one in, to be completely honest, just because those things are really necessary. Like, I really am sad that Chesco left, because I use his uh, wearable lanterns all the time. That and I always use Orissa. And I haven't used Frostfall for any playthroughs, but I've used it just on my own in the past, and it's really great. Just, uh, I really do hope that Chesco comes back, but at the same time, can't entirely blame him for wanting to step away from modding because of how he was treated. It sucks. The whole thing sucks, and I feel bad for some of the modders who were involved in that whole ordeal. Others I don't feel too bad for, because they just didn't, didn't handle any of that very well. Granted, I don't think death threats are the answer, and I don't think that was right of people to, you know, threaten mod makers, but, um, 
some people definitely didn't act in the best way in re in regards to um the paid mod system which is weird to think that it ended after only four short days but at the same time bethesda not bethesda valve was losing a lot of money because of it all right i'm curious what i'm supposed to do in here wait wait what is this what is this? Activate the Gray Fox Bust. Well then. Alright, that's uh, a bit ominous. Alright then, I guess we'll <laughs> head towards the giant glowing beacon. Ooh, I like the, the humming sound. To Old Way of the Thief. Oh, alright. Hello there. This is the Old Way of the Thief. Now think as a thief as you should be, or you'll never see home. Did I activate it? Okay, it's just giving me that message. Think in the way of the thief. I don't know if this is already part of the puzzle, but thieves are sneaky, right? So why not sneak around a little bit? Man, I am uh, not going to lie. I'm, I am a bit worried just because I have been told this is very, very... Puzzle intensive, and if any of you watching have seen me try to do uh, the Wheels of Lull by Trainwiz, you know for a fact that it is not my forte. Not, you know, not in the slightest. Just puzzles, not so much. Stealth, stealth I can do in games if I really want to. And I like stealth to some degree. I don't always do it in playthroughs just because it's not necessarily the most interesting thing to watch at times or the most interesting thing to record, but you know. Just a matter of figuring it all out. But as a th as a thief, I sneak around. I don't go straight through the middle right there, you see? Hmm. Or maybe I am supposed to go straight through the middle. For all I know, the puzzle hack hasn't actually started yet. And this could just be, you know, the ominous introduction to the puzzle. Although I like that this looks a lot like the uh, the Ratways of uh, Riften, which I don't know if that's intentional or if it's just kind of a coincidence, but either way, I do like that, so it has that sort of thematic uh, sense going for it. The Locked Room by Porbert Little Me. I'll just take that because, you know, it's a thief-ish book. Requires key. I need... Alright, I need that key. I don't have it, it would seem. Hmm. Alright, this I can unlock. Oh, nope. Nope. There we go. Open sesame. What do we have? Oh, okay, there's just a chest down here. Uh, I mean, as a thief, I figure I should steal some of this stuff. It's just laying around, why not? Just gotta think like a thief. Think like a thief. Key to the Chamber of Fire. Wonderful. Also, lockpicks. I'm gonna need those for this, because I would imagine there's gonna be a lot of lock picking. I mean, that would make sense, right? And, uh, gr granted, I know not everyone's great at lock picking, but lock picking in Skyrim is pretty straightforward, and there's always mods that can help you with that if you're really that horrible with lock picking. I don't really use any. I use a a retexture of the lockpick, as you may have noticed, but that is about it. Uh, I'm going to take that because I kind of figure I need it. I don't even know if I have clairvoyance on this character, but we're going to find out. Um, spell tone clairvoyance. All right. I'm going to equip that because I... I mean, I would imagine the whole point of that being there is because um, I'm going to need to use it. So... Um, clairvoyance... All right. Hmm. So far, still seems rather simple. Can't use that ladder. Thought I might be able to. Do 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 puzzles. Oh. Reach the other side of the giant fire room. Well, don't mind if I do. Um. Okay, it would seem I can go that way. Or at least that's the way I'm supposed to go. I'll, oh, whoa! 
I didn't realize that Sky UI had a thing for clairvoyance. That's pretty cool. Uh, let me read the you real quick. Point the way, light your way, line your way, see your way, make it Claire. Who's Claire? I don't know who Claire is, Mr. Gray Fox. Uh, you know what, let me save real quick. Just because I don't know how well this is going to go. <laughs> Alright, so... Can I just walk it? Oh, what? Oh, that's fantastic. Do I just... Wait, now I'm confused. Nope! Okay, that did not work. Alright. Alright, let's try that again. So... Do, 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 do. Do 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 It just sort of ends right here, doesn't it? It sort of ends right here. Can I still stand here? Okay, I can. I was worried that it was gonna drop me off as soon as I stopped that. All right. Um. Oh. All right. There's more of the path now. I don't know how that works necessarily, if I just have to... I have to keep moving to possibly find more of the path. Which I'm fine with. Gotta let my Magicka recharge, though. Uh, well, actually, you know what I can do? I can level up and put points into Magicka. Um, I forgot that I had Magicka maxed out on this character. Uh, this is Illusion, so let me just do that real quick. There we go, and full magicka now, look at that. It's beautiful. Alright. Oh, this is really cool. Granted, I'm not a modder, so I don't really know how you would do this, but... It's really complex, and it's just really interesting. That he was able to create an invisible path that you can walk on. If this is, uh, this is just a taste of things to come, I would imagine, because I've been told that... This DLC, not DLC, this uh, mod can take up to 10 hours to complete, or, you know, a little less if you skip some of the side story and side quests. And the fact that that's the length of the DLC, not DLC, damn it, uh, that's the length of the mod without side quests, like, that's pretty crazy. Or I guess that would be the length with the side quests. Still, like I said, pretty crazy, and um, pretty awesome. I also do feel bad a little bit, because... This mod had essentially just come out, and everyone was talking about it, it was on the front page and everything, and then, you know, in the midst of all the hype and discussion about this mod, the paid mod system come out, came out, and this sort of just lost all of its, um, I don't know how to describe it, all of its momentum, essentially, so I'm hoping to bring some of that back for the, those of you who are watching this. Because this is, this is great, and whenever people create just giant mods like this, it is just really a testament to how great the uh, the Skyrim modding community is. And, um, I don't know. For for DLC-sized quest mods, ones that take like 10 hours to complete, uh, for something like this, or a Wheels of Lull, or a Falscar, or a Worm's Tooth, I would, I, I would pay for access to one of those mods. And I'm not against paying for mods, I'm just very hesitant because of some of just the various issues that can arise from the whole idea of creating paywalls for mods because not everyone who's a modder necessarily has a great business sense not every modder is necessarily honest and it's just there's a whole lot of things so we're in Sancrator it says that's uh I mean that's kind of cool that we're going back to the places from Oblivion it's a very Oh, it's a stack of bowls. All right, I thought that was one bowl for a second. All right, Sancrator, here we are. Yeah, we were here in Oblivion, and by we, I mean the champion of Cyrodiil, not me. I'm just the Dragonborn. Hello. Hello. I mean, granted, I don't think there's going to be a whole lot of fighting in this mod. That rock is a little low in terms of texture or resolution I guess uh, not exactly an issue definitely not a game breaking issue it's just something that I noticed because it stood oh god what the fuck just killed me 
Well, but I just had a heart attack. That was horrible. Um, all right. I gotta be super careful here, apparently, because things jump out and murder me, it would seem. Good to know. I wasn't expecting that at all. I didn't realize. Oh, that was a little scary. Gotta lower the levels on that because I definitely blew out my microphone. Oof. Definitely blew out my pacemaker as well. I mean, I don't have a pacemaker. I'm not 80. Oh, yeah, no, there's a giant. Okay. All right, I didn't see that initially. Oh. All right. Gotta be a bit more observant, it would seem. Otherwise, I'll die like an asshole. Before I continue going this way, I'm just gonna take a quick look around. Hopefully not die again. I gotta be very careful now. Very, very careful. All right, so this way is locked, so I can't go that way. Um, I'm gonna take a look this way real quick. Take a look. Anything dangerous? Maybe, maybe not. I don't think there's anything in here. It would seem that there is not, so let's head back to the death chamber where I previously died. Alright, just keep an eye out for things that might fall from the sky and whack you in the face and murder you, because those things are bad. No active quest. I have an active quest, don't I? Yeah, I do. I guess I... Well, there's no current objective. It's just keep on going and find out where to go.